It's got to be the coolest dad job going around. What do they make the honey in spaghetti? Father of four, Jason Imms, is Tasmania's only video games journalist. And daughters Layla, Elsa, Mia and Josie don't mind spending a day at the office. Im says, despite today's IT landscape, the video games industry is light on jobs. Big studios are closing, leaving would-be game makers to pave their own paths. The result is people are making their own studios. They're making games all by themselves or with a, with a couple of other people and putting them out. And some of them do really well, some of them do terribly. Im's is one of those who decides which, reviewing and previewing games for publications such as Hyper and PC Powerplay. At the end of the day, I'm playing video games and making money from it, so <laughs> it's, it's a pretty great job. He says if you want to get ahead of the game, you need to start at school. It's never been harder to get a job making video games um, in Australia, but it's never been easier to make the game that you want to make. TAS ICT's Will Keston says there are 5,000 IT students in Australia and 14,000 IT jobs listed on SEEK on any given day. An ICT degree is like an arts degree in the past or even like a law degree not that long ago. He says technology will dictate how our future adults shop, study, even see doctors and that 75% of jobs won't necessarily be in the IT industry but they will be technology based. Whether it's the medical field or the aged care field or agriculture, I mean drone technology is how, how farmers are checking their crops. Chip technology is how they're checking to see the health of their livestock. But if you think having a swipe savvy gadget geek toddler like this one means your child is ahead of the pack, think again. Kids are fantastic at utilising technology, but they're not very good at creating it and knowing how it's created. And he says that's the key. We need to learn from a very young age how to create rather than play games. I think as soon as they start to read and write, they need to start to learn about coding. IMS has started Tasmania's first game development society based on interstate models. Every month they have a game jam. This one, sponsored by UTAS, is about creating educational games. A break from reviewing the less academic ones. As well as working at home, Jason Imms works here in the city at a place called Secret Lab. But others in the IT sector are increasingly moving into places like this. This one's called Parliament. And there are only about six places like this in Tasmania. But it's expected, especially in light of the recent federal funding announcement, that more will quickly pop up. Malcolm Turnbull has unveiled his innovation and science agenda with tax breaks for startups, which work from hot desks in places like these. There's also a focus on coding in schools and luring more women into IT. For now, Ims can only teach his girls how to play games. Learning to make them himself is something he'd like to try. And who knows, maybe that'll be something they can one day teach him. Alison Costello, Win News.